Hello everyone, my name is Emerson Ahrari. Welcome to this video. I'm a Google Earth Engine expert and today I'm going to show you how to do cropland monitoring in the Google Earth Engine platform. This is a very, very useful platform, a uh, very useful platform for the time series analysis, specifically for the croplands. And as you know, modest land cover products are available with annual temporal resolution and also 500 meter special resolution globally and you can uh, monitor all of the land cover product all of the land cover classes since 2001 so far and also uh, we should consider that uh, crop lands area always including in the uh, land cover maps and also we can select a specific class and see how they change during time so let's go to the google earth engine platform and first of all select your desired area for example here i pick a study area in the southwest of iran and then after selecting a study area in the first step of programming map that center objects helping to have focus on the study area just like that and also next we need a variable to call uh, modest uh, land cover product here I make a variable entitled modis equals to throw the search places and data set you can search variety of uh, remote sensing data and products in the Google Earth Engine platform and uh, here for example I type typing uh, modis land cover modis land cover and here you can see different types of the modis and land cover products appear and here we have a uh, land cover type yearly global with 500 meter special resolution in the data sets availability you can see it's available since 2001 and the descriptions is very useful to know what's the characteristic and property of uh, this kind of product and here you can see the land cover maps based on different protocols are available in the bands table with 500 meter special resolution in this tutorial I'm going typically we use uh, land cover type 1 uh, for the uh, for the land cover monitoring or LC type 2 these are most common products that we use when we are working with the land modest land cover product and if you want to cite this data through the citation there is an instructions that enables you to uh, cite uh, such kind of data you are using it's very important to cite the data you are using in your uh, paper articles projects and also uh, in whatever you are doing it's important to cite the data and also the codes or everything you are using so uh, through the import we have a modest land cover product in the code editor entitled as image collection here then assigned to a variable modis and then we need to set a filter date filter date is in the first step we need a start date and end date here I make two variable start time start and time end and here I make its variable time start before modis variable time start equals 21 and time end equals to 2000 for example uh, 2024 I want to know that how many uh, land cover products are available during this time so uh, as we are working with the modest products and this is a globally and with uh, this is a global product without uh, framing a structure such as Landsat and Sentinel we don't need to set a filter bound to narrow down the collection of the data for a specific places because when you are working with the modest products in the Earth engine, uh, when you call modest products, all of the products for all around the world, all of the images for the all around the world uh, coming to your code and then uh, by the reducers and also by the clip and by different uh, functions like that, you can focus on your own study area. I will show you in the next step how it works and what I mean actually. So, in the first step, by the print modis, we can see that how many modis images are available globally from 2001 to 2024. You can see that we have 22 from 2001. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Uh, to 2022 uh, we don't have uh, 2023 yet but it will be updated 
uh, in the months ahead and so now I want to select the land, uh, the cropland uh, in this map from 2021 to 2022 and get its area and plot its area variations in the uh, uh, over the time period and also for the location that I have already selected. So uh, this part is a uh, is a, a place that is always uh, that is uh, usually or typically covered by the different uh, croplands. You can see that in the Google Maps. And now uh, I want to check that how the variation, how the extent of the croplands area varying from the start time to the end time here. So in the next step, we need to make a function to select the cropland cross a class uh, compared to the other classes existing in this product. Now I make a function about cropland area. Cropland area have an argument. It is img. And now we are starting to write this function. But before that, we need to go to the uh, modest land cover descriptions to see which kind of bands uh, or which kind of classes are available for LC type number one. Before that, uh, I should add a part in my code. For example, here by that select, as you can see, in each day, 13, 13 bands are available. But we only want to do our processing based on LC type number one, just like that. And then back to the descriptions. For the LC type number one, there are different descriptions for different classes. Uh, the class number 12, uh, as, uh, including croplands with its des descriptions, and also class number 14 also uh, is a mixture, uh, is a mix of cropland and natural vegetation mosaics. Yeah, uh, we can, uh, for example, uh, select these two kind of classes together, class number 12 and class number 14, with, uh, with an or operation in the programming we can have all of these numbers 12 and 14 together in the code so in the first is that we need a threshold uh, to select the cropland classes to select class number 14 to select the class number 12 img because the input image collection entitled as an img dot uh, equals I want to select those of values in the LC type that is equal to number 12 or I make a new parenthesis and I need to select those of values in each image equals to number 14. These two classes cover land, uh, cover actually the agricultural area just like that. So. In the next step, uh, we need a mask uh, to mask zero values from the computations for the next step. Make a new variable mask equals to the threshold image, which is a binary image and uh, assigned one to the croplands and remove all of the croplands should be masked here. And threshold.update mask as you can see, based on the threshold. By the update mask, we can remove zero values from the computation or from our uh, binary image, actually. So, and then we need to assign the area of each cropland uh, instead of uh, cropland pixel values. Now, in the binary image, cropland has value number one but when we uh, for the area calculation by a function we need to convert number one value to the number of area pixels area that pixels have actually so here we make a new variable area to calculate the area of each pixel here we have mask dot uh, multiply 
multiplayer earth engine dot image dot pixel area by the pixel area we can calculate the area of each pixel for the croplands because already crop croplands selected by the thresholds we defined but as it is uh, based on the uh, square meter we want to convert it from the square meter to the square kilometer 1 e6 like this and then uh, convert it to the uh, square kilometer by this division and finally the function returns the area image the, the area is that image that uh, only include cropland classes and for each cropland pixel the area is computed or calculated based on the square kilometer and then uh, as we need the area image for the time series analysis we have to have system time start and system time end for the time series analysis system time start and system time end like this and so next no need to have a semicolon at the end of a function next we have cropland equals to get modis image collection and implement the cropland area function on each element available in the existing collection so then print the cropland here we should have 22 images in inside a collection but with only one band this band is lc type 1 only included the uh, the croplands area so now i want to uh, plot the sum of area of agriculture for each year to do this it's very simple make a new function user interface chart image dot series so in, uh, uh, instead of uh, existing argument instead of image collection we should have cropland instead of region geometry instead of reducer as the input image included the area of cropland pixels or pixels including uh, cropland we need to get some of the area of croplands to do this earth engine reducer dot sum we will have the sum for each image in each date based on the region already selected and here instead of a scale we should have uh, a spatial resolution which is 500 meter instead of x property we should have system time start that's why uh, we already included system time start for the further processing so here if I run my code you can see that this is the area of a crop plant from 2001 to 2022 and its variation here is the area of the crop land based on class number 12 and class number uh, 14 in the modis product you can see that the cropland extent uh, varies from for example 7000 square kilometer to 10000 square kilometer over the last 20 years and then this code is very very easy to use and user friendly and you can implement this for every region in all around the world for example here you can see that I remove the geometry from this part and then I use it for another part I just try this code for those of region that I know and I worked and so because uh, to use this code you should be uh, you should have information about the croplands area you should know that in which places croplands are available in which places croplands not available 
So, for example, if you use this code for a desert without any cropland, so definitely you will get uh, nothing in the results. So, for a new area, again, just I change the location, and here you can see the area of uh, uh, cropland from 2001 to 2022, and also it's available to in CSV format. You can download CSV data to do further analysis in the Python programming or any other platforms. So if you had any questions or problem regarding this code, you can uh, put your comments in my YouTube page and also I will check the questions and answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching us.